Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically track new Dropbox files in our Google Sheet. So basically, we are going to begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Dropbox account. So I'm going to upload a file. Okay, so let me just uh, straight away upload a file from my desktop. Okay, so I'm uploading a PNG file called as Ferrari. Let me just upload this. So basically, the idea is that once a file is uploaded in my Dropbox account, the data will be automatically sent into this Google Sheet. So basically, we may have to wait 5 or 10 minutes. This is because Dropbox actually takes an appreciable amount of time to send the data. Maybe 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, but not more than that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pause. And after that, when the file has arrived, when the file related data has arrived, I will show it. Okay, so after a delay of uh, six, seven minutes, we have uh, got the result. So as you can see, ferrari.png, and this is the date when this file was uploaded, and this is the associated URL. So basically, this is the gist. So now, your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I manage to uh, create a database of a file that has been uploaded in Dropbox? So basically, we are going to use an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that will integrate Dropbox and Google Sheet. Now, the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you how it's done. So in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. Okay, so why pabli.com? Well, we have an app, app called as Public Connect that will integrate Dropbox and Google Sheet. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, login. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on Access Now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Dropbox and Google Sheet. Now before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So basically I'm going to switch off this workflow. So this workflow has uh, already integrated Dropbox and Google Sheet. The reason I have switched off this workflow is because we are going to create a new workflow and this old workflow running in parallel to it will give the problem of duplication of result. Basically, the idea is that once a file is uploaded in Dropbox, there will be two database in Google Sheet. We don't want that. We only want one. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Now we are going to give a name to this workflow. How about Dropbox, Dropbox to Google Sheets and let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is basically the trigger window. So basically, we are going to uh, create a new workflow to integrate Dropbox and Google Sheet. Now, there is something I have to tell you. Uh, if you want to uh, access this workflow, the link of the template of the workflow is available in the description box. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as Dropbox. Okay, Dropbox it is. Okay, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file. New file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in Dropbox, then what action should be taken by the system? Now basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate Dropbox to public connect. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on connect. In the new connection name, just click on connect with Dropbox. Okay, so authorization is successful, just press OK. So we have a field that is folder path. So basically the idea is that we are going to mention the name of the folder that in which a file is going to be uploaded. Let me show you. Let me just straight away take you to Dropbox. So this is my Dropbox account and these are all the folders I have. Now I'm going to select one particular folder. Let's say this one, create folder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So the idea is that once a folder, once a file is uploaded in this particular folder, Dropbox will give the data. Okay, so basically, so this is the folder, create folder, and these are the files I have uploaded, and the recent one was ferrari.png. So 
When I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of that recently uploaded file. I repeat this again. It will fetch me the data of that recently uploaded file. Now, in my case, the recently uploaded file is uh, ferrari.png. So I'm going, I'm not going to uh, click on this save and send test request button now because I'm going to upload a new file. And after that, I will click on save and send test request. So how about uh, I upload a file called as Lambo. So basically, I'm going to upload an image of Lamborghini. So the image is getting uploaded lambo.png. OK, so this is the image. OK, so when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file that is lambo.png. Let me just click on save and send test request. OK, so let me just scroll down. Yes, we do have the data. So this is the name lambo.png. And this was the time at which this was created or uploaded into Dropbox. And uh, then we have the URL. So basically, this is the shareable link. OK, so basically, we are just uh, going to copy this link and open this in a new tab. And let me just show you the image. OK, yeah, so basically, this is the link that we are going to share into our Google Sheet. So let's uh, build a Google Sheet for that. So I'm just going to uh, Google Sheet. OK, and uh, let me just go to Google Sheet and let me just create a new blank sheet. OK, and this blank sheet should be titled Dropbox. Dropbox data. How about that? And we have the name, name of the file that is going to be that is uploaded and the time and at which the file was uploaded time and date and uh, the URL. OK, so we have three fields. So I'm just going to uh, darken this. OK, so what we are going to do next is we are going to insert all this data into these rows. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm just going to click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. So this is basically the action window in the choose up. Let me just type Google Sheet because we want to send the data to Google Sheet. That is why Google Sheet it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as add new row? OK, so add new row is an action event. So your obvious question is why we are mentioning the action event as add new row. Well, it's actually pretty simple. So basically, the, all the data will be inserted into adjacent rows one by one. So first this row will be inserted, then this row and this row. So the data will be inserted into adjacent rows one by one. OK, so what's next? So now let me just uh, click on connect, connect with Google Sheet. OK, so as you can see, we have a series of Gmail account. Now, out of all these account, I'm going with this one. So this is my Gmail account in which this particular uh, Google Sheet is present, Dropbox data. So I'm selecting this one. OK, so it is asking me to come from my choice. Let me just press allow. Authorization successful, just press OK. So as you can see, by default, we have uh, five or six fields. The purpose of these fields is that we are going to insert all the data that we have received from Dropbox via Public Connect into these into this Google Sheet. Now the spreadsheet by default it is showing Dropbox data. We don't have to change it. OK, but in case it was if it was by default showing some other field, some other uh, uh, Google Sheet, you can have changed it. So basically, this is all the files that is present in my Google Drive account. So it doesn't matter which uh, which file it is basically these are all the basically this is all the files that is present in my google drive account now at present i am just going to work with this one that is dropbox data so i have selected it now in the sheet it is mentioning at sheet one because there is only one sheet that is sheet one so i'm happy with it i'm not going to change it and uh, let's start mapping so basically we have uh, three columns that is the name basically we have three fields that is the name time and the url so basically it is just reflecting the columns we have name time and the url if we add one additional field and if we just refresh it it will also show this additional field here okay so let's start mapping we click here and just type the name just map the name lambo.png then we have the time so this is the time so let me just uh, map the time and let me just map the url so let me just scroll down and let me just map this url so basically this is the one that you want to add res3 shareable link we mapped it OK, so basically we have inserted all the data. All you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send the data to Dropbox data. That is our Google Sheet. So we do have a very positive response. So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the details. Lambo.png, this is the time and this is the URL. 
Excellent. So basically our integration is uh, running really smooth that is between Dropbox and uh, Google Sheet. Now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize the trigger window and let me just minimize the action window. So first you integrated Dropbox to Pabbly Connect and then you have integrated Pabbly Connect to Google Sheets. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Dropbox and Google Sheets.